Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome. It was many years ago when I had a friend working here on staff and she told me that they were in need of a middle school drama teacher. And so I applied for the job and I was excited to get to be part of the team for a while here before I had kids and became mom. So, so I have two girls here in the elementary school, a second grader and a fourth grader. And a few years back there was a need on PTO to help with teacher appreciation. So I jumped in and that's one of the ways that I love being a part of the school community now that I'm being a full-time mom. I love to get to give back. I couldn't have done it without parent support when I was a teacher. And I love to be able to be here and to be able to support my girls' teachers and the community of educators that we have here. They're phenomenal and we're grateful for them. And so I'm excited to be able to serve them in that way. I think what I'm most thankful for here is that this is a school that is committed to excellent education and that hires uh, educators who are excellent in their field. I know that my kids are getting an excellent education when they come and additionally who passionately love Jesus, know their identity and out of that are able to love and encourage and teach truth to my kids. And the biblical worldview that our curriculum is founded on doesn't clash with what my kids are being taught at home. And so we can send our kids here knowing that the school is partnering with us as parents as we raise and educate and disciple our children. Our girls haven't known a life without Jesus because they were raised in our home and uh, our desire to follow him and to love well because of him is a part of our home culture and our family life. And so it would be absolutely typical for you to be having a conversation with my kids and for them to remind me <laughs> uh, of truth. And they, it's a, it's a, because it's a part of our culture at home and because they're being supported as a part of their culture at school, they go into their worlds and they meet people where they're at and whether they're on the sports field or they're doing, they're involved in the arts or they're just on a play date, their vision, their lens is through the reality of the love of Jesus. And I'm so grateful for that. And I'm grateful that they speak truth to me and their dad all the time and remind us what we need to be reminded of. And they're really great at speaking truth and love to their friends too. And I love seeing it on the playground and I love seeing it on the ride home from school when we're having a play date. So discipleship in our household means to live walking and following Jesus, to be desiring to continue to know God on a very personal level um, and to be overwhelmed by his desire to know and love us. And that's what I want my girls to know is I want them to be able to walk forward with deep roots of truth that are based on biblical truths and principles and at the same time experience the powerful life-changing love of Jesus in an intimate way and I think when we have both of those things that's when we're able to partner with God in his ministry and change people's lives. I'm thankful that when we commit to this school as parents, we know that first and foremost, as I've said, our children are in an environment that, where the truth about Jesus is being spoken. And that extends throughout all of the different areas in our school. And that extends through the classroom, that extends uh, through our athletics, through our academics, through the arts, that at the, at the end of the day, we have educators here in all of these different areas who are teaching from a biblical worldview and who love Jesus. And my children are not just coming to a school where they're being taught Bible class. They're coming to a school that's a community of people who are trying to learn more about God, to know him and be known by him and to love others well. As a parent, I love being involved here, and there's room for all of the parents to be involved. Part of what we're really passionate about as the PTO organization 
is we want a space for all parents in whatever capacity they have to jump in. And so we are praying for this school. We have opportunities together in prayer. We are trying to support the school um, through our fundraisers to support theirs. And we have a lot of opportunities to serve in practical ways. And we have parents jumping in in all different ways. Some parents are able to come give their time during the day. Other parents are able to support by getting the wish lists taken care of for our teachers. And um, I, I guess my biggest encouragement would be regardless of what your time or schedule allows, there is some way to be involved and being involved is so powerful. It, I think it's so significant for our kids to see us playing a part in the community here and in their education. I love that there are scholarship options and I am grateful that the Lord continues to bring people who can support those opportunities for people to be supported financially. And so I can't count the ways that I've been blessed in my life and the ways that I've been able to experience the love of Jesus and I'm grateful. And um, it's nothing that I've earned. And um, so I get up every day with a desire to uh, know him and hear him and love well and <laughs> do what he's asking me to do to the best of my ability. <laughs> so we have the best staff. I, it, when they, when I, I went to my very first PTO meeting and suddenly they had a need for teacher appreciation. And the irony is that morning I said to my friend, I will come to I will come to this meeting with you, but I want you to know I'm not doing anything unless like there's some specific need for teacher appreciation, then I'm willing to do that. And I show up and they're like, we have a committee chair that has just stepped down and we need a teacher appreciation. And she looked at me and so I get very excited about appreciating our teachers and our staff because they really are the best of the best. And my kids are only in elementary school and they've already had teachers who have changed the trajectory of their lives. They've had a lifelong impact and it's life changing. They love so well and they speak so much truth into my girls and I can see it day in and day out. And there's, uh, there's no amount of gratitude that I can express that would <laughs> adequately say thank you for our staff here. Celebrate what Jesus is doing throughout the nation and rise up to answer his call on your life to serve the poor, heal the broken, free the captives, and bring joy to those in need. Find hope, encouragement, and motivation through Overcomers TV. This inspiring network features everyday people and ministries across America who are putting God's love in action. Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome.